Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today I'm going to show you guys how to get a rank 30 or a rank 35 in the next few days. Now I'm sure all of you know this, but for those of you who have been living under a rock, Brawl Stars is going to completely change the ladder system. They're making it so the highest rank is tier 50 and tier 50 is going to be at 1000 rework. Now Brawl Stars is trying to be really nice for those of us who pushed in the old trophy system. If you accomplished a rank 30, they give you an exclusive spray. If you accomplish the rank 35, you get an exclusive pin. And if you have 10 rank 35s, then you get an exclusive title. Keep in mind, we don't know how long you guys have to do this, but I think we have at least four days because that's how long it takes for the ladder season to end. So I went ahead and I looked at the next four days and all the maps that are going to be out. And I'm going to talk about and show you guys the absolute best strategies you can have to get a free rank 30 or a free rank 35. Lastly, I know a lot of you guys play solo, so don't worry. There's going to be some tips and strategies in here for you guys as well. I'm going to be getting into a friendly room with a bunch of people in the Bobby BS Discord server. If you guys want to join, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. And I'm just constantly changing up the teams, telling my teammates what to run. So we go the broken strats and tell the other team, go whatever you want try and beat us and all of this is in my bobby bs discord which i just mentioned so if you want to look at it for proof it's all there now i'm going to make sure trash mortis is always on the other team because he has 110,000 trophies which is more than i have and i just want to make sure there's someone equal or at least you know kind of almost equal in skill on the other team also a quick disclaimer before i get into all the strategies kenji and mo are good everywhere so I'm just not going to bring them up today. So we're going to start off with the gem grab rotation. The next four maps are going to be Last Stop, Minecart Madness, Open Space, and Rustic Arcade. Now looking at these, the first thing I noticed is all of these maps are wide open. These are very open maps. So the same brawlers are going to be good on all of these maps. This is a really good thing because instead of having only one day to grind this, you have four days to grind basically the same type of map that has the same type of brawlers that are really good. So because these maps are open, the same gem carriers are all going to be super meta here. So I'm talking about things like Piper, 8-Bit, Angelo, Gene, Byron, and Max. All of them are very good on all four of these maps. My personal favorites are probably going to be Angelo, 8-Bit, and Max. I think Angelo is going to be the best mid here because he's just the best sniper in the game and you have those jumps to always jump away from anything that's coming your way like a Mortis or anyone trying to come close and steal your gems. 8-Bit I also like because very similarly to Angelo, he has a technique where he can just get out of harm's way very fast. If something like a Mortis is coming to kill you or another brawler, you can just teleport away back into safety. Lastly, I like Max because Max moves very, very fast and you can have very strong lanes that get help from Max with that speed. Now, because it's an open map, lanes are also gonna be kind of weird. The lanes I recommend are Leon, Amber, Crow, Carl, Pearl, Squeak, and Meg. I like Pearl and Meg a lot because Pearl and Meg are very solid lanes. It takes a lot of damage to take both of them down. Meg and Pearl are also really easy to hit shots with, so they're super consistent and very, very easy to play. Now, moving on to the other lanes like Carl, Squeak, and Leon. These brawlers all have their own specialty. Talking about Leon and Carl, both of those brawlers can use their supers and their gadgets to go in, get the gems, and go out. Assassins like this are really good on gem grab because obviously stealing the gems and getting out is really valuable. As a Mortis, it's really good to be able to do that, but then at the same time, you're just going to be a Mortis with all the gems, so it's kind of like a get the gems, which is good, but then you have the gems as a Mortis, so what do you even do? And then I also like Squeak a lot because there's a lot of squishy mids. A couple that I listed, Gene, Byron, Angelo, and Piper, that Squeak do really well into. And there's not going to be a lot of aggressive tanks or assassins on wide open maps, so Squeak should primarily have a lot of really good matchups. Now, I know I just said that there's going to be very few assassins or anti-tanks, and that's going to make Squeak work. But at the same time, because range is so good here, and because Squishy Brawlers are so good on open maps, there is a chance where you could pull out assassins, brawlers like Mortis, Daryl, and Buzz, who should be really good because very few of the brawlers that are going to be played on wide open maps are going to be anti-tanks like Gale, Tara, or Surge, for example. Now, I know we don't have exact comps for you guys here, but at the same time, in gem grab, there isn't really a meta comp that you can win with 100% of the time, and I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm not going to give any for gem, but now we're going to move on to knockout where there is some crazy ideas you can go with. So now for knockout, the maps that we have for the next four days are hard lane, Island Hopping, New Horizons, and Out in the Open. So unlike Gem Grab, these maps are all completely different. 
But for two of them, New Horizons and Out in the Open, we have an absolutely broken strategy. And this is none other than the Daryl Cat Cheese. Now, as you guys know, Daryl is one of the best brawlers in the game. I recently put him S tier in my latest tier list video. But when you get a cat on your back, it's a whole nother story. All you need to do on either of the two maps that I just mentioned are sit there with the Daryl, sit there with the cat, and when both of you have super, the cat jumps on the Daryl and you just roll into the other team. If you have the hamburger, cheeseburger, whatever it's called gadget, I would also recommend running that because it literally makes your Daryl invincible. But if you don't have that, that's totally fine. This is a very free win if played correctly. Your third brawler also doesn't really matter. We had a Gus in this instance that could give us the shield and clutch up some rounds, but you could play Gene, Angelo, any sniper, just basically anything that's gonna help you out. I have a few exact comps or strategies to go, but none of them are as strong as this Daryl Cat Cheese on New Horizons and out in the open. So if you guys wanna grind that, that's a very good pick. For the first two maps though that's coming out for Knockout, we're gonna have Hard Lane and Island Hopping. Both of these maps are really weird, and I honestly don't have many suggestions for you guys to go. But as you guys can tell with the water, I mean, Angelo is just so good on these maps. So if you were to push a brawler, I would definitely 100% recommend pushing Angelo. Now moving on to the brawl ball rotation, we have Retina, Sneaky Fields, Sunny Soccer, and Super Beach coming up in the next four days. Now looking at these maps, all of them are very, very good for tanks and anti-tanks. I mean, surprise, surprise, it's brawl ball. The tanks slash assassins that I would go 100% if you want to push a tank are Daryl, Frank, Buster, Mortis, and Primo. All of these brawlers are insane for goal scoring and really good for making big plays. Not all brawlers are the same and not all brawlers have the same roles. So when you're playing a Daryl, Frank, Buster, Mortis, or Primo, you shouldn't really be worried about your kill death ratio and how many kills you get. You should be worried about stopping goals, making big plays, being the tank for your team, and just creating opportunities. As a Primo, even if I know I'm not going to get a kill, I just jump on people and see how much work I can do as long as I know I'm not gonna die instantly. This way I chain supers and I just make things a mess. And even if I'm not gonna get the kill, I'm gonna charge most of my super back. And then my teammates who are on other brawlers can clean up the mess very easily. The same thing applies for the rest of the tanks that I just mentioned. If you're not looking to push a tank, there are tons of anti-tank options that work really well, such as Nita, Shelly, Ems, Gale, Macy, Tara, Lou, Sandy, Clancy, and Surge. Anti-tanks are obviously really good in Brawl Ball because you're not going to see a lot of throwers and you're not going to see a lot of squishy brawlers such as Squeak that counter anti-tanks. So you should have a 50-50 matchup against another anti-tank or you just completely counter whatever tank or two that you're facing. I personally like Gale a lot because Stun Gale is extremely broken. Gale, in my opinion, has the best hypercharge in the game, and it's just so free and easy to gain trophies with in Brawl Ball. If you're playing solo, I would 100% push Gale on Brawl Ball as my solo brawler, because you can score goals, you can defend goals, and you can carry really easily with that super. Now moving on to the heist slash hot zone rotation, for the next four days, we have Parallel Plays, Kaboom Canyon, Ring of Fire, and Safe Zone. Now, unlike Brawl Ball and Gem Grab, all of these maps have broken strategies where it's super easy to win the game. For Parallel Plays, my broken strategy is going RT mixed with Barley or Larry. This is really easy. This map has two zones. You have a thrower and you have the best anti-tank in the game. Now you might be thinking, what makes RT better than Gale here? Well, it's the fact that you can go into that Jackie form and completely annihilate everybody in your path. Remember, hot zone is about zone time, so sitting in that zone with RT is very easy. Now the reason you mix the RT with Barley and Larry is because everything that RT is bad into, Barley and Larry have completely free matchups. So one zone is gonna be dominated by your RT, and the other zone is going to be dominated by your thrower. It's up to you guys to decide what third you want to mix in here. And it's also very important that you guys look at the zones and put the throwers on what they counter and the RT on what it counters. Next up, we have Kaboom, but I'm going to talk about Kaboom and Safe Zone at the same time. Heist is really easy. There's one strategy that works on all the maps. What you want to have is one of Melody or Chuck because both of these brawlers are incredibly good at getting to the safe and doing constant damage over the game. You want a very high damage dealer, so one of Crow, Colette, or Colt. All three of these brawlers do massive damage when you get the hypercharge or supers on safe. And then lastly, you want to fill in with something like an Angelo, a Gale, a Meg, or a Daryl. Just something that can fill the empty space that's needed in your comp. Now, this is actually one of the few games that we lost, 
And the reason we lost is because the other team knew exactly what to do. They had basically the same comp as us, if not better, and they totally annihilated us. I actually love that I lost this game because it shows you guys just how important picking the right composition is. And when they use the same broken strategies as we do, anybody can win. And last but not least, we have Ring of Fire. And this one is one of my personal favorite comps. It's super easy. Remember guys, Hot Zone is about standing in the zone. You can have less kills, but still win the game. And for this, I like going Poco, the Dragon, and either Amber, Tara, or Stu. Now, Poco and the Dragon work really together in the zone. They're very difficult to take out, and there's just a lot of HP in the middle of the zone. And then you fill that in with Amber, Tara, and Stu, who all have different things that help you get zone time, but also really fill out the comp. Tara is really good at getting team wipes, which obviously the Dragon and the Poco aren't so good at. Stu gives you that speed turret and fast dashes, which is really nice. And then Amber just constantly runs in the zone and is basically good against anything. The combination of Poco and Dragon is definitely one of my favorite out of everything that I've listed. Now, after everything that I've shown you guys, if I were to pick two brawlers that I would 100% push, obviously that are not Kenji and Mo, one of them would be Daryl because he's really good in Brawl Ball. He's really good in Gem Grab. And obviously that Daryl and Cat cheese on knockout is absolutely broken. And then Angelo, because as I showed you guys, Angelo is completely broken in knockout, completely broken as a gem mid. And on both of the heist maps that I mentioned, there is water and a lot for Angelo to work with. And Angelo could beautifully fill out the missing needs for your comp. If you're playing solo, the Gale that I mentioned earlier is a really good pick. I also like the Angelo that I mentioned or Daryl if you're good at either of those brawlers. If not, playing Heist and going Melody, Colt, Chuck, Crow, or Colette is a really good idea. Or we could talk about Showdown, which we're going to get into very briefly. 